Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. So this is our last day in Canada. We've just been, we've, we're in Calgary, and we've just been laying low for the last few days. Getting mm -hmm. some work done, chilling, making yep. food at home, healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> it is our final day here, and you know what that means. We're gonna try more food. Yeah, we are. So we tried a bunch of stuff when we were driving up through Banff and Jasper, which, by the way, if you missed that series, go check it out, because it was some of the most beautiful scenery we have ever seen, and some very yummy food. Yeah, but that'll be uh, linked in the description. There are still quite a few dishes left to try in Canada. And a lot of people say that Canada is not known for stuff, but we've had quite a few fun dishes. Mm -hmm. We've already tried a lot of wild game, some boar, some elk, some buffalo, and some beaver tails. When we spoke to people from Calgary, they were like, well, there's not really that much to see and do around the city. And we've been here before, actually, so that's oh, yeah. why for our, our last video, we're just going to go eat some food. <laughs> but it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Before we had to breakfast, we found a little cafe called uh, DeVille that we just kind of stumbled upon. I think they have a few around the city, but let me just tell you, this nice latte is real good. It's real nice. Oh man, and it's so warm outside and it's basically a perfect day. Yep. But, all right, we're gonna down this and then we're gonna finally eat breakfast. For our first stop, y'all, we are getting some poutine. Yep. We have come to OEB, I think. OEB? I don't think it's OEB, <laughs> I think it's OEB. But they do breakfast all day till like two o'clock, at least during the week. We were actually in Montreal a couple years ago and got the real thing because that is where poutine is from. Today though, since we're in Calgary and it's not the home of it, we're gonna get a little wild and crazy and try some very interesting uh, dishes. Yeah, I think the poutine's gonna be pretty posh here, but yeah. we looked up pictures online, it looked pretty unique. Speaking of unique, this place is really cool on the inside. They have a bunch of bright colors and uh, I'm not sure if it's meant to be kind of egg themed. Or, yeah, for yeah. sure, because it's a breakfast only place, so everything is egg themed. You can sit in eggs. It's yeah. so cool. And the kitchen is exposed right back there, so you can just watch everybody cooking, which I always yeah. love that. There are actually a few locations of this throughout the city, so you should be close to one no matter where you're staying. But man, they have so many different types of poutine to try, and I don't even know where to begin, but oh, no. we're going to do our best. <laughs> Fancy schmancy poutine has arrived and in style. Listen to this music. Got some Madonna blaring oh. in the background. For those of you who do not know, poutine is just french fries with cheese curds and gravy on top. It's classically more of like a pub kind of food or late night food, greasy spoon kind of food. This is a little less greasy and a little more, I don't know, artisanal maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the poutine that I got is called a lot of locks. And uh, of course, it's got salmon on it. It also has poached egg, some crispy potatoes, the little cheese curds, some hollandaise, and I think there's, yeah, some little capers on there as well. They made these poached eggs medium poached, which I've never had someone ask me how they, how I'd like my poached eggs poached. But, so this is a medium poached egg right there. Ooh, nice and runny. Check that out. I think that's the key is getting the yolk all mixed in there. Not the sexiest looking bite, but it's kind of hard to, hard to get it all in one bite. <laughs> Mm. Ah. <laughs> wow, that's good. Real good. That is a sultry, salty, savory delight. It's super creamy with the runniness of the egg in there, but then you have the crispy potatoes that are, have a little seasoning on them, and they're just perfectly moist on the inside. Oh man, there were some good flavors up in there. I think I'm, I might have gotten a caper in that one too. It had a little burst of saltiness. I went the other way, and I got some duck. It was confit de canard. I think it's like fried pulled duck on there. My curds look a little more, um, a yeah, little smaller than yours. They're a little bit more shredded. More tender, kinda. I'd say. But I still have the hollandaise sauce, the poached eggs on there. Get some of this duck on there and the jam. Oh my gosh. That's good. <laughs> but still all super deep fried and cheesy and amazing. Just like you would hope for, but it is a little bit less greasy and this duck oh my gosh it's nice and kind of crispy it reminds me of like pulled pork but nice creaminess of duck in there and these potatoes are so nicely fried and seasoned are those the same crispy ones that i got i think, I think so because they, they have like some herb potatoes that i think are a little softer maybe yeah. yeah so they have herbs they have some that are twice fried fries i guess and if you're really not feeling the french fry thing, I read that you can substitute your fries for spinach or arugula, so you yeah. could do a salad, I guess. But then I don't think it's technically poutine yeah. anymore. I might have done all the damage that I can do, <laughs> you guys. It's pretty pathetic, but mm -hmm. these are a little pricey, so I'd recommend splitting one. 
because we could have shared this, I think. Yeah, just because it's so rich. I'm trying to eat all the meat and cheese on there, but oh lord, it's heavy. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> That was delicious. I'm completely stuffed. <laughs> Beyond stuffed. But before we go any further, I have got to get a haircut, you guys. Look at this. It's gotta go. <laughs> so I'll see you on the other side. Got my haircut. What do you guys think? Looking nice and spiffy, Ta -da. dude. <laughs> the guy could not have given less of a crap, but he did an okay job. He just went, bzz, 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 okay, you're done. 27 yeah. bucks, which is pretty affordable. Yeah, I think. actually, Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But check it out, we came to the uh, river and we just realized this is the Bow River. Yeah, that was up in Bam yeah. that we were awing at because it was so beautiful. And it is still pretty beautiful even down here through the city. Yeah, not as beautiful, but no. pretty cool. But it's kind of cool because downtown is right over here. Then you have this nice little island oasis that's nice and green. Uh, we are just chilling for a while. We figured we'd take a minute to tell you guys about our sponsor for this episode. Yeah. Once again, it is CyberGhost VPN. If you're not familiar with a VPN, it is our number one must have piece of travel software. And that is because when you're traveling and you're using internet in airports and cafes and all over the world, you can turn on your VPN to make your connection more secure. But probably the coolest thing about a VPN is that it can save you tons of money on travel. We were just looking at hotel prices in London. Spoiler, we might be stopping through there. No confirmation Maybe. yet. Don't get too excited. But we just searched without a VPN on and we saw one price. We turned our VPN to the UK and we found it for so much cheaper. And it's actually a lot of fun to just kind of turn the VPN to different locations and then oh, look yeah. at how the prices change After and try that, to find the best we price. We started searching hotel rooms all over the world and we were just like turning VPNs on everywhere and seeing and there were it was wild. It even gives you different search results. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So remember kids, that's CyberGoat VPN. It's Cyber Ghost VPN, not Goat v Where did you even get this mask what? at? Nothing. <laughs> I seriously have no idea I mean, where you got that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> did you get that just for this bit? No, I would not <laughs> do that. Cyber Goat VPN. <laughs> <laughs> this is what nightmares are made of. Oh, I don't like it. In all seriousness though, they've hooked us up with a coupon code just for you guys. It's 79% off for 18 months of service. It is seriously an amazing deal. This is a piece of software we use every day. Cannot recommend it enough, mm -hmm. but the details for that are going to be on the screen right now and also in the description below. All right, Calgary, there's so much more to see. Andy, let's go. Next up, we came to a place called Made by Marcus for some ice cream. As if we hadn't had enough gluttonous food today. And obviously ice cream is not from Canada, but everyone we talked to said you have to stop by this ice cream shop when you come. It's also very popular since we've been here, tons of people have came and went. Yeah, I hear there's typically a line, but I think we're about, we're at an off time on a Monday, so nobody's here. This one that I got is moonshine custard and buttered pecan. And then I got lemon curd and blueberry, which just sounded so refreshing since it's so hot out. And the waffle cones that they gave us were still warm from being freshly made in the back. And it's cool, you can actually see to the back and see them preparing stuff. Moonshine custard, two things that I love, so <laughs> should go together pretty well. Ooh, baby. It has creamy, milky, and very sweet. It really almost just kind of tastes like vanilla with the cans and it. I don't really get too much like a custardy flavor to it. Mm. Wow. It is really good though. It is super fresh, creamy, cold, and delicious. It's so pretty. I don't know if I want to ruin it. Oh my gosh. That is so tart and amazing. The lemon and the blueberry in there. The lemon is like kind of, you know, citrusy and acidic and then the blueberries tart so it's all a bunch of flavors punching you in the mouth. Almost tastes like Sour Patch Kid or something like that. We haven't made too bad of a mess yet. Yeah, I know. Which is rare for us if you guys have seen any of our, oh our other gosh. ice cream videos. Oh! Holy cow. <laughs> oh no. Oh, look what I did. Oh no. There are these little gooey sugary bits like that. 
that add a ton of sweetness to it. Now that I've gotten a bit of these pecans, they're really good because they just add this crunchiness to it, almost like cookie dough, but not as sweet. It's really, really nice. Believe it or not, this is actually just one scoop. You can get up to three scoops of ice cream. I don't know how people do that. We're, we're one scoop type of people. I know, we're so bad. And, you know, it's one scoop, but they put two in here. There's I mean, like a, a little base layer, and then they put yeah. one on top. Yep, exactly. It's cheeky, and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera up because I'm starting to actually make a mess. Uh-oh. Ice cream was delicious. Had a bit of a tummy ache, so we came back to our apartment. <laughs> And we're just chilling for a while and killing some time. Also, it got really windy and a little chilly. Cold, Ugh. yeah, I wasn't expecting it. But we are gonna try one more thing before we leave Calgary, and that <laughs> is the Caesar. The Caesar. What the heck is that? Wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> sign on the outside of the building but sorry it is very loud in here we're gonna try to speak up but and of course as soon as I do the music stops <laughs> but we have put in um, a drink order because happy hour was about to end and we wanted to get one of their cocktails because as you can see they have a lot but we will be ordering the Caesar in just a moment and we'll tell you what that is and show you what it is but just know we are getting any Caesar we are getting any Caesar Okay, but just know we aren't getting any Caesar. I can't say Caesar. But just know we aren't getting any Caesar. We are getting the ultimate Caesar. It's the little touches that this place goes to. Check this out. This is the napkin, and they put a little piece of twine on it to roll to hold the roll. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so adorable. This beautiful creation in front of me is known as a Caesar. A basic Caesar is vodka, clamato juice, some hot sauce, and then Worcestershire sauce. And then they put some celery salt on it, usually just a stalk of celery. That's like your basic Caesar. This one's a little bit more elaborate, so sometimes they'll put all this crazy stuff in it. And that's why we came here, because look at this thing. Is this insane or what? We've got some fried chicken over here, a slider over here, a jalapeno waffle, and a jalapeno corn dog on top of this thing. This is an entire meal and a cocktail at the same time. And it's only 19 Canadian, so it's a whole meal and a beverage for 19 bucks. This thing is so intimidating, honestly. Look at this. It's so over the top. The chicken actually looks really juicy and delicious. I'm most excited about that. We also got this beautiful Brussels sprout dish thinking we would get some healthy veggies on the side, but it's all deep fried, I think, with some aioli sauce. So that was kind of a fail, but a very delicious fail. <laughs> Before we can even get to the drink, I guess we gotta try some of the food, right? <laughs> I really am excited about the jalapeno corn dog because I have not had a corn dog, I think, since I was a child. This is the tiniest <laughs> little corn dog. Here we go. Oh my god. Wow. Spicy. <laughs> Spicy? <laughs> it's sweet. And then the, the hot dog in there is actually more like jalapeno sausage. Oh my god, that is... Really legit in there, huh? This, where was this when I was a kid? This is so good! But we still have an entire meal to eat <laughs> on top of this thing, so the chicken is what I'm most excited about, so I'm gonna give that a go. The breading that they have on this chicken looks amazing. It's so crumbly and juicy. Mm. <laughs> is that good, oh my eh? God. This little guy right here is a perfect piece of chicken. The breading is so flavorful, so crumbly, it's so juicy, and it's got an oiliness on the inside. It is absolutely perfect. I thought it's just gonna be some novelty thing, but this is really a proper meal. It's so good. All right, enough suspense. We'll take the food out and eat that in a bit. Let's try. Oh, I guess I had a straw the whole time. You well, guys, we didn't even see this straw here. We're so dumb. We've been eating all the food trying to get down to the drink. <laughs> Well, oh well, it's done. Okay, so this is what a Caesar might actually look like if you just order it from a random place. Whoa, mm. you get a lot of celery taste in there. It's really good. 
it's one of the freshest tasting, like Bloody Mary sometimes tastes, you know, like the canned thick tomato juice. This is actually pretty light and refreshing. Isn't it supposed to have clam juice in there? Well, clamato juice, which is, yeah, clam. Yeah, clam. I would have never known. Maybe if you bring people, don't tell them that there's clam in it until after they try it. I actually read that the Caesar is considered the national cocktail of Canada. And uh, Clamato is just clam juice and tomato juice mixed together. But Woo! That is really, that's not quite what I was expecting. That vodka really hits you. Wow. But uh, very tomato-y, very alcoholic. I'm honestly, I mean, the food on top is what makes it because I'm not a big fan of these tomato-y type of alcoholic beverages, but it's pretty good. perfect ending to our trip here in Calgary, I think. Oh my gosh, you guys, we went to Cleaver for the Caesar and would come back for all of their food. Yeah, the it was- The food was just insane. Yeah, cannot recommend that place enough. Everything was so Caesar delicious was and good, fresh. But the food, oh my gosh. Yeah. If you guys are from Canada or have been to Canada and there are dishes that we missed either here in Calgary or up in Banff, uh, let us know so we can try them next time we're through or so that other travelers who are coming through can try them. We are flying down to see our family in Missouri. For those of you who don't know, that's where our family lives. It's gonna be pretty boring. We're just gonna be doing some chill time with them, but then we will be doing a road trip uh, I think starting in maybe Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, still some, sorting out the details. Yeah, we're not sure, but doing some uh, southern barbecue type of things. Oh yeah, and we yeah. love road tripping around the U.S. That's the first thing we did when we started filming. But after that, we will be off to Europe again. We'll be going to Sweden for sure. But yeah, lots of fun stuff coming up. We can't wait. By the way, this is my work setup right now because <laughs> my monitor doesn't actually work here. So every Airbnb we go to, I'm just hooking up to the TV and my eyes are killing me, you guys, yeah. because the pixel density on the TVs is so bad and I have to sit so close to it. The color calibration on this TV in general is horrible. So I have to move <laughs> the video over to her laptop to color correct, but it's not powerful enough. So it takes forever. It's honestly been a nightmare, you guys. Oh, <laughs> so, it's been brutal. Yeah. As soon as I get back to the US, I'm taking that in to get it fixed and maybe getting a different laptop. I don't know. All right, we're going to have to pack up Ooh. and then get up pretty early for our I flight tomorrow. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.